हरि ओ ओं गं गणपते नम ओं गुं गुरुभ्यो नम ओं सरस्वत नम ओ ब्रह्मानंद परम सुखद केवल ज्ञानमूर्ति द्वंद्वातीत गगन सदृश तत्मशादिवक्ष विमलमचल सर्वधी साक्षिभूत भावातीत त्रिगुणरहित सद्गु तमा नम शिवानंदय गुरव सच्चिदानंदमूर्त निष्प्रपंचा शाताय निरालंबा तेजसी ंघि विष्णुर्मरिस्पंच देव सदाशिव शक्तिपोषि निर्गुणस्व सनातन आनंदमनंदक प्रसन्न ज्ञानस्वूप निजबोधजुक्त योगींद्रमेद्यम भवरोगवैद्यम श्रीमद्गुर निमहम स्वना अपन the most holy occasion of 135th birthday of our beloved and worshipful gurudev shri swami shivanand ji maharaj today that is 8th september we like to narrate the spiritual guidance given by our gurudev for all the spiritual aspirants gurudev says the spirit of universality is the first step towards self realization it is not the attitude of automatism or mechanical subservience to a particular universalized doctrine it doesn't imply antagonism to the genius of individuality it doesn't prevent the individual to grow according to the law of his own growth it implies transcending over sectarian loyalties bigoted animosities and self centered vanity it means the denial of the bane influences of individuality material objects are best offered to god by placing them at the disposal of those who really need them we offer material objects to god not that he is in he is in want of these but to deny our sense of position and to evolve ourselves into a state of complete self surrender forgetfulness of the spiritual consciousness that is inherent in every human being is ignorance ignorance is rooted in the selfish love for one's own self wisdom lies in effacing this ego ridden selfishness through dedication service thoughtfulness compassion pity and devotion to god people's minds are saturated with hatred and retribution but even this will pass away hatred cannot be required by hatred if hatred is short to be avenged by hatred then it will be perpetuated to endlessness if the heart is not pure enough to forgive then the only judicious course is dissociation time is great healing factor time is also a forerunner to forgiveness it is 
not the life of devotions rituals or pilgrimages that matters but the spirit which pervades one's thought speech and action be not egocentric be human kind and sincere reflect and restrain adapt and adjust let the spiritual awareness in you grow profounder by every day practice introspection and self analysis watch from the reactions of others as to what is undesirable in you sometimes you may not be you are self be able to judge your own negative qualities you have to take the clue from other people's reactions and mold your nature accordingly it is true that you cannot fit in according to the measurement of each and every one but wisdom lies in taking the ruling from general public opinion do not be injudiciously free with your opinion do not bother to express your views unless as far even then you have to be careful in not to rub another on the wrong side control yourself from contradicting others while not ascending in a hypocritical manner restrain yourself from speaking out directly the undesirable traits that might be conspicuous in your friend life without lust egoism greed anger and pride is itself divine life try to live a life of purity and spiritual contemplation with a spirit of self dedication you must have unswerving faith in god during trials disappointments and under dismal circumstances to be introvert and contemplate you to cherish seclusion and to keep withdrawn from external environments are no doubt most desirable ideals in the spiritual path but these have their own drawbacks and one has to be extremely careful in not to succumb to their negative effects most people who are apparently introvert and who try to shield themselves from the world are by nature highly selfish conceited hostile and arrogant is very difficult to find in them every slight trace of charity and selflessness their real spiritual worth is very doubtful their religious exterior is a mental of neurosis one has therefore to be cautious and judicious in weeding out the evil qualities from one's nature through humility service ready acceptance of the goodness in others introspection and self culture the spiritual aspirant has to be continuously in a position to fight back the ill effects of despondence in him depressing thoughts should find no place everything has a purpose behind setbacks and difficulties come only to awaken one to the purpose of one's life he who learns by others examples doesn't have to suffer himself much mistakes and failures have to be accepted as they are to allow them to weigh upon oneself is by itself a mistake to chaff them to be mere nothing is to perpetuate their ill effects in the some conscious mistakes should make one wiser and infuse new determination and strength of will to overcome them
The senses are not meant for reveling in delusive pleasure experiences and the mind is not meant to create a barrier between one thing and another. They are all aids to the realization of the absolute and if these instruments are misused in life, the person responsible has to pay the penalty in the form of suffering. There are three elements which obstruct the spiritual consciousness to find expression in oneself. They are impurity, oxidation and the veil of ignorance. Impurity should be removed by study of holy books, repetition of the divine name and selfless service. Oscillation of the mind should be encountered by the practice of concentration, asana and pranayama and the veil of ignorance should be rent asunder by profound meditation on the Atman. Without right exertion nothing in the world is achieved. Without right resolution no sadhana can begin. Therefore resolve to follow the path of truth, purity and compassion. Aspire to be progressive in your thought and action and be intent on growing in virtue, goodness and holiness through every waking moment. Hari Om Tat Sat Om Shanti 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 Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu